Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look. I wanted to create something that was spring and summer ready, that was quick and easy to do, as well as something that was great to do if you do have allergies because it is allergy season and I have to say, I do have allergies too, so this look actually works and it works great for me. So I absolutely love this look. I've been wearing it a lot lately because it's very simple and it doesn't irritate my eyes. I'm able to still blow my nose and it is just very carefree. I don't have to worry about anything. Thank you so much for all the overwhelming love. I am almost at 5,000 subscribers and I want to say thank you. You guys are awesome. If you don't know, my name is Antoinette, but you can call me Bubs or Bubs B. I do makeup and hair videos on my channel and anything I want in between that, but it's usually just makeup and hair related. And let's just jump right into this video. My face has already been washed and I did exfoliate. My makeup application always looks the best when I exfoliate, so I try to do that every two to three days. To moisturize my skin, I'm first going to spray my face with some water. Then I'm going to apply some of my homemade shea butter mix. After that, I like to apply First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. I have a sample of this and this seeps into my skin and moisturize it. I like that it doesn't leave residue and it seeps right into my skin. It leaves my skin very moisturized. Lastly, to prime and to add another layer of moisture, I'm going in with my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This moisturizer is very hydrating. It's great at priming my skin before makeup application. Lastly, I'm going to moisturize my lips with my Birth Speeds Lip Balm. I do have very dry skin, so I like to apply those moisturizers just so my skin can stay hydrated underneath the foundation. So as those soak in, I like to go in with my eyebrows. I'm going to use Milani Stay Put Brow Color in Dark Brown. So I like to keep my brows very simple. This look is very quick and easy. First, I just outline the top and the bottom, and I'm just using fast, light strokes. I'm just going to apply a little bit more pressure on my outer, my outer arch, just because I don't have that much hair there. So I'm just applying a little bit more pressure so more product can be added there. So I just do a rough outline and then I will conceal around my brows. I just do underneath and I like to just use my foundation color to conceal underneath my brows since this is a more natural look. I don't want underneath my brows to look too defined. And I like to use my Luxie Flat Definer to clean it up and then I'm going in with a more buffer brush to blend everything together. Now to start on the complexion. Now this may be excessive for some, but I am going in with three different foundations. Well, two are foundations and one is a skin tint. So first I like to mix my Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I like this because this gives me a light coverage but it's more my skin tone and this does have a warmer undertone but it does have a fuller coverage. So I like to just apply equal parts to my skin. Then I go on with my True Match Lumi underneath my eyes because this is lighter and I'm gonna use that to kind of conceal and brighten underneath my eyes. I'm using a Sedona FB05. This is very dense and I like it to pack on foundation. For the Glossier Skin Tint, I'm in the shade Rich and for the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, I'm in the shade 212 Cocoa. So 
So first I just apply it to the areas I need the most coverage. And I'm just pouncing it on my skin. Just pat it in. This is going to apply the most product and keep it concentrated in those areas. And then I'm going to buff it out and blend it on the rest of my skin. So you can blend your foundation down on your neck. Personally, I don't like to do that just because if I do, I'm going to get foundation on my clothes because I do have a shorter neck. So I don't want to do that. And I just match my foundation to my chest, not to my neck. I know my neck is darker than my face, but I like to match my foundation to my chest. That's just personally what I like to do because it just looks more flattering in real life. I know on camera I might look a bit crazy, but it's really not. It's not a big difference. It's just that with the lights and the camera, it's just a lot more emphasis on the two colors, but in person, it looks just fine. But do what you feel is necessary for your skin. If you wanna match it to your neck, go right ahead to each his own. So I have a very light layer, and now I'm going to apply it just a little bit more on my dark areas, especially around my mouth. Now with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa, I use this just to conceal little dark spots that I have. I don't want to conceal everything. I still want my skin to shine through, but I'm just going to conceal those prominent dark areas. Next, I'm taking that L'Oreal True Match Lumi and I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes. I just pump a little bit underneath. I'm going to take the same brush. Um, first, I'm going to pounce. And then blend it down into my skin. If you need more coverage, you can go in with the concealer, but I don't need that much coverage underneath my eyes. And like I said, I still want my skin to peek through. I want this to look like I don't have anything on my face. So I'm loving how my skin is looking right now. It's very glowy and luminous. Thanks to all the hydrating products as well as the foundations. Those are hydrating foundations. That's why I like them. So I'm going to have this nice glow and I'm going to have this nice glow for the rest of the day. I will set certain areas of my face. And I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 355 Coconut. I'm going to set underneath my eyes. This is pretty much the only area I do not want to move and I'm going to set around my nose because I do get a tad bit oily on those areas by the end of the day and on my forehead and as well as on my chin. To add some dimension to my face and to sculpt out my cheeks I'm going to use my Black Radiance Press Powder in Rich Mahogany. You can skip this step if you want to but I like to add dimension to my face so my face doesn't look so flat. And I like using this tulip brush. I got this from Sedona Lace, it's the FBO3. And I just apply some just on the tip, move it around. And then I will apply it to the places I like to contour. As you can see, I have a little bit of shadow and that's all I need. Now at this point, I would just add my highlighter because I want to look more glowy. So I just add a little bit to the high points of my cheekbones. I like using this Pure Pigment by Maybelline. It's their color tattoo. It's in Breaking Bronze. If you watch my tutorials before, you've seen me use this. I love this as a highlight because it's very gold and it's very bronzy. And it gives the perfect sheen without having chunky glitter in it. And I like using my Sigma E40 and I'm just going to apply some on the tops of my cheeks, cheekbones. Can you see that? I apply some underneath my eyebrows 
and on my forehead that's it i don't apply any on my nose on my cupid's bow or on my chin because i do get oily in those areas especially on my upper lip i get a little sweaty and a little oily so i don't apply any on that area because i'm going to get shine there by the end of the day anyway so no point to add more emphasis on it if it's not needed so as you can see it just gives a perfect sheen like a nice glow to the skin now if i really want to put a little extra oomph into my look that day i will go in with a blush it's babylonia it's in the shade coralina so this is like the name states it's a coral blush i just use the same tulip brush and I just apply it to my cheeks. This is just going to warm up the skin. And it does have some golden marbling throughout. So it's going to add a little bit more sheen to the cheeks as well. So now since all the face products are done, I'm going to set my brows. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and Transparent. I always set my brows because they will move all over the place. Now you can go in with your Fix Plus or your setting spray to make this last longer. I'm just going to spray some water on my face. This is just going to blend all the products together. This makeup routine is perfect for allergy season because I do not apply anything on my lids. I do have very bad allergies in the spring. My eyes get itchy, they start to burn. My nose starts running, all of that. So I do not put anything on my eyes. All I would do is apply some of my shea butter on my lids. And this is going to make my lids glossy, which I do like. I only like glossy lids when there's nothing on my lids. So now that I added that shea butter, my lids are glossy. It just adds a little bit of something even though I don't have nothing on my eyes per se. If you do want to jazz it up, you can add some dots on your lower lash line. I love to do that. But today I'm just not going to put anything because my eyes are very itchy and it's burning a lot. I'm not going to apply mascara. You can, you can use waterproof mascara. I would recommend only using waterproof especially if you have allergies so it's not smearing everywhere. So I'm pretty much done with this full look. Now we're just going with a lip color. The lips all depends on you. You can do bold, you can do neutral, you can do simple, you can do matte, you can do glossy. It doesn't really matter. Normally, I would just go in with my concealer, this one in dark cocoa. So this is exactly my skin tone. So this is just going to mute out my lips. Then I'll probably go in with some lip gloss, but I'm out of my lip gloss right now. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of shea butter on top just to give it a little bit more shine. And this is the finished look. If you get oilier and this routine doesn't work for you, definitely use your matte products, your matte foundations, your matte powders, and I'll definitely bring like blotting sheets as well as a press powder just so you can touch out throughout the day. Normally, I'll just bring with me my setting powder, my lipstick or lip gloss. So I've been loving this makeup application, especially during this allergy season. It's very quick and I can do this in a brush and I don't have to think about it. I can just throw it on and I can go right out the door. Thanks guys so much for watching. Thanks guys for staying tuned. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what other tutorials you want to see on my channel and I'll see you in the next one.